everyone, this is Luna here. Today, we're going to create a foam structure. Here's the basic idea. First, we'll fracture a cube. Then, we'll delete its outer surface to isolate the internal structure. Next, we'll convert the edges of those internal faces into cylinders. Finally, we'll smooth out the whole model using volume objects to get our final foam structure. All right, let's jump into the actual demonstration. Start with a default cube. Apply a Voronoi fracture to it. You'll see the default fracture looks too uneven. To fix this, we need better source points. Delete the default source points. Now, create a matrix object. Set its points to 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10, and its size to 20 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 20. This gives us a very regular grid of points. Drag the matrix object into the source panel of the Voronoi fracture. The cube now fractures into many smaller blocks, but they're too uniform. Select the matrix object and add a random effector. By default, it randomizes all point positions too much. Reduce the position values to around 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10. Now we have a more organically fractured object with geometric structure. In the Selection Tags panel, select the Outside Faces tag. Make sure you have the fractured object selected before doing this next step. Right-click and choose Connect Objects plus Delete. This creates a new polygon object. Double-click the outside faces selection tag on the new object and delete it. We get only the internal surfaces. Create an atom array object. Drag our model under the atom array in object. Set both the sphere radius and cylinder radius to 3 cm. This gives us the initial wireframe structure. Create a volume builder and a volume mesher object. Place the atom array object under the volume builder. You'll see the model fuse together. This happens because the volume mesh resolution is too low. In the volume mesher settings, decrease the voxel size to 1 cm. Add an SDF smooth modifier to the volume builder. Reduce its strength to 50%. This gives us the final, smoothed foam model. I'm using the Corona renderer. In the Material Manager, create a legacy material. Set its color to a light yellow. Enable reflection and reduce the glossiness. In the Displacement channel, add a noise shader and adjust its size. Turn on interactive rendering. The model might be dark because there's no light. Open my Corona Sky object. I preloaded an HDR texture for scene lighting. Disable direct visibility for the HDR. Now, add a Corona Sun light and reduce its intensity. Tweak the material further if needed. Go to Render Settings. Set the output format to PNG. Check Alpha Channel. Choose a save location on your computer. Switch the renderer to Corona. 
Set the pass limit to around 10. At the bottom, select High Quality Denoising. Finally, click Render to Picture Viewer button O oh, Render Your Image. And that's the entire workflow for creating a foam skeleton structure. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.